So inside the um, web API, how do we convert so we do not use XML as the return type anymore, but we go into using actually uh, JSON instead? Well, it's, it's fairly simple, but you have to know what line you have to put in where. It's kind of a, if you do not know that, it'll be rather complex, but luckily it's, it's very simple if you know where to go. So we have our uh, web API uh, project right here. And under that, we have an app start project, just like we did with the MVC. And under that one, we have a web API config. That's a new file. And in there, there's a lot of like some default host authentication, some filters we can add. And then we can add this line right here. And I'll, I'll try and add it somewhere so you guys can grab it. You can just go and grab it inside the code, which is available on GitHub, of course, under this application guy here. And we're pretty much just saying all formatters should be JSON formatters. And we want you to return things like text, HTML, um, so we want to return JSON. This is the line, you have to add this line if you want to return JSON. Now what will happen is it'll convert everything you return from this into actually returning this. That's kind of what will happen. So I'll try and run this again now, I'll try and run the application again just to show you that with this single line I've changed nothing else. Nothing else has been changed. I still have my beautiful wishes controller. Everything in there is still the same using the context. Everything is the same, exactly the same. But instead of returning XML now, it will return JSON like it does right here. So let's just give it a second. So I'm putting in the URL here, API wishes. And now before we had XML here, now we have JSON. Done deal. So now we're actually returning JSON to the whoever needs this. Now the cool thing about sending JSON back is a lot of application and a lot of the frameworks, they know how to convert from JSON into whatever language you want to work with, into c -sharp objects, into JavaScript objects, into whatever you want to work with, right? And it would be the same with XML. There's also a lot of tools to convert from XML into whatever framework like c -sharp objects, again, Java objects, whatever you want to work with. So it doesn't matter that much what you want to convert into, but I'm a big fan of JSON, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, another thing I would like to show you is if you run with Chrome like I'm doing, you can go into extensions, so doing this like tools, um, more tools and extensions. This guy will pop up and you can go in and find the JSON viewer in here by adding a new extension and just selecting the JSON viewer. Now the JSON viewer will, will convert the view into looking something like this instead of just a plain huge string in here. So it looks more objecty, right? So that's another hint. So that was all we had to do. We just had to add this single line in here inside the web API config file over here under um, App start web API config and you have JSON return instead of XML. That was all you had to do. See you in the next lesson where we'll start um, converting our controller so that it starts using our real data access layer instead of what we're doing right now. Have fun.